Well, Border Patrol facing another problem, this time over a data breach. The agency says photos of travelers and license plates snapped at U.S. Border Control Point have been hacked. Cybersecurity expert Brian Finch says this attack does not come as a surprise. Well, it would to me if, if uh, my particular license plate had been hacked, Brian. Well, it shouldn't really be a surprise uh, because these hacks of government agencies and their contractors and subcontractors happen all the time. We have foreign uh, competitors in China, North Korea, Russia, Iran, and others who are constantly probing not only government systems at the federal level but at the state level and the various businesses that they do, uh, the U.S. government does business with. So it it's really shouldn't be any surprise anytime a piece of information that has been collected by the U.S. government or a state government winds up in someone else's hands. That, How that's could not someone else use this in a way that could upset me if I'm one of those people who's been hacked? So that's a great question. And interestingly, in talking to some cybersecurity experts, there is, are some hints that, for instance, China is trying to build a light version of its social monitoring program that it has in, in its own country, where it assigns a risk score to all of its citizens. That they might try to uh, be trying to build a similar system here in the United States, sort of a perpetual monitoring system where they can track U.S. citizens, dissidents, et cetera, not 24-7 like they do in China, but do something similar here by gaining access to this type of information, building a record basically on every American citizen and what they're doing. Well, <laughs> this is, this is kind of bothersome that Big Brother in China could actually be Big Brother here too. Of course, they couldn't do that much to us. However, uh, I'm wondering if they want to, if, if we are saying things that, that they deem anti-Chinese or whatever, what could they do to screw us up? So it's really not so much about targeting individuals if they say anti-China policies, anti-China sentiments. It's about, hmm, who can we target for blackmail? Who can we target for industrial espionage? Where does Brian Finch travel? Where does he work? Who are his clients? Who are some other people in that area? And maybe we start targeting some more information. We look at his social media. We look at his by, cell By phone. the way, is there any reason to believe that that has happened? Have, have there been individuals who have been... Uh, viewed by China as as potential assets and and they they look into their details through hacking and so forth and are able to blackmail them into working for them we do know that China has done this to Falun Gong for instance Falun Gong dissidents in the United States they have been tracked by Chinese intelligence and while we don't have specific examples where US citizens are being tracked like this we do know that people in uh, in US defense contractors and sensitive positions are monitored all the time by foreign intelligence agencies and we look and see that China's behind health care hacks they're behind hacks of US government personnel records and now we see that they're monitoring uh, government contractors that are collecting information on travel movements, signs are pointing to something like a surveillance system being set up inside the United States that could uh, accrue wow. to the benefit of China. Something to watch for sure. We kind of knew it was coming, but it's scary to know that it's actually here. Brian Finch, thank you very much.